Hey, what's up, coach? Welcome back to the show. Now, on today's episode, uh, if you saw the headline, uh, you know, it's should I run Facebook ads as a new coach? And uh, my take on this is very different than probably a lot of the ads that you see on the internet. That you know, there's these guys that talk about running Facebook ads, um, how that's going to be the key to your success. And that anybody can do it with any without any uh, knowledge or experience. I get the same ads that you get, and you probably see some of those ads before you watch my videos here, right? What I'll tell you though is, when you're just starting your business, even if you're even if you're already experienced in your business. Um, I would I would tell you that running ads can be good, but a lot of people who run ads at the beginning of their business, they do that because they're scared of this. They're scared of the phone. They're scared of contacting people. They're scared of selling. So they think, well, if I run an ad, it's going to be easier to get people to be interested in what I do. And the reality is if you run paid ads, yeah, you can you can get a lot of people to be interested in what you what you offer, but you're going to have to talk to them over the phone anyways. So the reason why I discourage coaches at the beginning of their business from running any sort of ads, it's because they haven't gotten experience yet selling and they have not figured out yet what what they're really doing. They haven't figured out the problem that re- they're really solving with their clients yet. So why why would you know, someone run an ad if they don't really know what their offer is, if they don't know how to talk to people over the phone, because this, you know, using your phone, talking to people, that is a skill that you build. And there's nothing that's going to be worse for your business than if you start spending money running ads, you get on the phone, you get nervous, you don't know what to say, you don't know how to close people. And then now what's going to happen is you're going to think, well, that didn't work, so this business isn't going to work for me. And then now you have a bad association with the business because you tried running ads, but the problem wasn't the ads, it was the sales, the skill of talking to people on the phone. That is the problem, which is why when you have that on lockdown, I would say, yeah, you, you should run ads because now you have more cash flow. And you know how long your clients are going to be in your program. You have recurring payments set up. You're running your business like a business. You're not just some new person trying to run ads on the internet. And that's where a lot of coaches fail. A lot of coaches that end up uh, joining my program actually are people who have run ads in the past. That didn't work. And they want to have a better foundation with their business. And that's what we teach. I I don't teach Facebook or YouTube ads. Um, I haven't. Like I've run one YouTube ad and that was for a uh, soccer training product that, that I had a while back. Um, since then, I haven't done it. Like What I figured out is you know, if I can talk to people over the phone, if I start to get more confident in what my offer is, then I can organically market my business if I'm consistent. And you know, good example, if you've paid attention to my YouTube channel here, haven't missed an upload I haven't missed a week of uploading. I'm pretty certain since I started this channel around five years ago, right? That's really consistent. And there's a reason why I've been able to help a lot of coaches now. It's because I have been relentless and I've been really consistent with this channel uploading. Uh, I've had, you know, this point, 300 and probably 20 different podcasts. Uh, And I don't want to make this about me, but I'm showing you that if you're consistent with your marketing, you can win without running ads. And you can absolutely win running ads, but I don't recommend running ads unless you are very good on the phone. Because every time you pay for a lead, if you're not converting that lead, you're losing money, right? And uh, that's a risk that a lot of coaches who don't know what they're doing at the beginning of their business, they get caught up by these gurus online and they'll, they'll try to go run some ads, it doesn't work. Um, and it's not the ad, it's, it's the, it comes down to the skill over the phone, right? So hopefully that helps and hopefully that saves you a lot of money in the future.